we go to the managers menu and then employee table this feature shows you a table or a grid of all of your employees data that you've entered into the software and you're keeping track of pretty much all your employees and their details um, this table in here now will appear empty because it doesn't look like a table at all because it's empty and that's because we haven't entered any uh, employee data yet but in order to do so in order to add or delete or update any of the employee data in the software you would click here where it says edit table now in here this is uh, the information that you need to fill out in order to uh, enter an employee in the software now this whole thing looks very overwhelming like there's too much data that needs to be entered but please keep in mind that uh, most of this is actually optional uh, the only fields that must be filled in with values uh, are the first three the employee number in here uh, the employee's first name and employee's last name everything else, else is optional so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fill some data in, in here just to uh, add an employee and show you how this area of the software works we'll go ahead and make up uh, an employee number right now and an employee name uh, keep in mind the employee number is f uh, for you to freely make up uh, whatever, you, however you want to structure them. Uh, that's up to you. We'll fill in their address and some other information too. Now uh, the next uh, choices in here are for the uh, pay structure, the way you uh, pay their salaries. Um, the first box in here is hourly, the person's paid hourly, let's say so many dollars per hour. The second one is commission, uh, if they're paid uh, based on commission from what they sell. Now you can have one of these or both of them uh, if that's how you want to structure their uh, payments, meaning you can just give them an hourly pay or just a commission pay or you can give them both an hourly pay and then some commission uh, the next field is <coughs> deduction notes that has to do with the three fields below it those are the deductions uh, that's basically uh, keeping score and track of the deductions you're taking away from their pay let's say for oh, I don't know medical uh, insurance or uh, you know for uh, taxes or some other deductions that you must make from their paychecks this is for you to keep track of uh, what amounts you're taking out of their paychecks and uh, also uh, this will be the textual uh, representation in text you will literally write in here what the deductions are uh, so also when they see it on their uh, pay report it will be this data in here will tell them this these are the deductions that's what they're for and uh, those are the amounts of the deductions the amounts that you put in here now the next one is pay rate uh, we said we're gonna pay this employee hourly so we'll go, go ahead and enter the pay rate of how many dollars per hour they get so let's say seventeen dollars per hour and uh, this box in here text box is actually comments uh, you can put whatever you want in here or nothing at all if you want to keep track of some things uh, about this employee you know you just enter whatever comments you want to make and save them with the whole employee data uh, this corner in here has a uh, security feature settings it's pretty much for the employees uh, security settings you enter first the pass the password the login password that the uh, this employee will be using to log into the software it's up to you to make up this password so you can make up whatever number or uh, you know combination of characters numbers whatever you know signs you enter in here any string pretty, pretty much so let's go ahead and make up some 
number just for the argument's sake uh, that will be their password that I'll use to log into the software with now this is the employees uh, you know access which, which features or areas of the software you're giving this employee access to so let's say we'll just check mark the things that we're granting the employee access for in this software and whatever is going to be unchecked is going to be things that they're not going to uh, be allowed to do in the software areas in the software that the software is going to prevent them from accessing granted that they have signed in with their password that's how the software knows who they are and uh, also what they're allowed to do and what they're not now in order to save the data in here save it into the database we need to click the add button so go ahead and click the add button that is the data in the software now uh, if you ever want to edit something like edit uh, an existing employee or update something about him or even delete uh, you gotta pull up their information first and you do that by entering the employee number and then either clicking on the next or another field or tabbing away by hitting the tab button and the rest of the information gets pulled up from the database and automatically pre-filled for you in here let's say we'll go ahead and edit if you wanted to delete you click this delete button let's say we want to just edit let's say we want to give uh, this uh, employer raise to $20 per hour and give some more access in the software because let's say they have more tenure now they have uh, more years in the business so go ahead and update this change in order for the changes to be saved into the database now, I'll show you how this looks in the managers menu on the employee table you'll see that now we have one enter in this table one row and it represents the data for this uh, employee that we just added